Hello everyone, hello classmates and to all the people that are watching this together with my classmates. Hello, Miss Bless. And we're going to talk about what we have learned in English Enhancement 202 and also what we have learned. And together with my members, we're also going to give you examples and how they are expressed and implemented while using them in order to convey from one person to another. What are the three major of mood that we have learned from the module? Those are called indicative mood, subjunctive mood, and imperative mood. What are those things? Those things are considered to be the primary mood that uses verb as a manner in order to express. Indicative moods. Indicative moods entails facts. It is used to express facts or opinion that are stated as facts. Example, we just started our second semester. Thank you. Subjunctive mode is expressing suggestion or wishes, recommendation, and advice. Um, example of this is, I suggest that Alex write the article. Um, that is uh, one of example of suggest subjunctive mode. Thank you. Imperative mood. Imperative mode is used to express a command. It is also a command and is used to give orders or to make requests. Example, finish your activities before the due. The imperative mood is a mode of English grammar that inflects a direct command or a strong request. Commanding statements like take out the trash or give me another slice are placed in the imperative mode.